Hey, Rochelle with Lady Fermenter. Today I'm going to be brewing a German Pilsner and I'm going to be breaking, hmm, I'm going to be bending a few rules. First of all, today is January 7th and the beer is being donated and will be poured at a beer festival on February 3rd. So I don't have much time. Plus, I'm going to be using a Kosh yeast, which is technically a lager-like ale, so it's a hybrid, which also is a little past its prime. And because there's a theme to this event, I'm going to be adding lime flavoring to this German Pilsner. So I better get going. So this is a very simple okay, Pilsner recipe. So Started with 7.5 gallons of reverse osmosis in. water, which is and equal to 28.39 liters. Now I just went but with the recommendation have, from have... Grainfather as to what the water additions were, uh, but the malt bill is nine pounds of Pilsner, and I used a German Pils, and eight ounces of acidulated malt, which is equal to approximately four kilograms of German Pilsner malt and a quarter kilogram of acidulated malt. Our mash in temperature was 149F or 65C for 60 minutes. Mash out temperature was 167F for 10 minutes, which is 75C. And of course, a 60 minute boil with 28.3 grams of German Hellertal Blanc. Now this package of yeast was a little bit past its prime. It's about two months, uh, so I did a vitality starter before adding it to the beer. And uh, you'll see what happened. Everything was fine. The yeast took off nicely and did a fantastic job. All right, so the beer has been cold crashed, gelatin fined, and moved to a keg, and it tastes fine. It's bready. It has a nice firm bitterness. It's not quite clear yet, but it'll be fine. And so now I'll be adding the lime zest. Now, honestly, I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to put five tablespoons in or 75 grams of lime zest and put it in this very fine mesh um, hop spider, you might call it. Add it to the keg and then we'll taste test it every day. After we close up the keg, we're just gonna put enough gas on it to keep everything nice and tight. All right, time for a tasting. So you can see it's not crystal clear, but I'm okay with that and there's not a lot of head. And the reason for that is when we put the lime zest into the keg, we just put enough carbonation on to keep the keg nice and tight. Nothing in, nothing out was the theory. It has been four and a half days. We've been tasting it every day and I think today might be the day. Okay, I get lime and I get a really fun Fruit Loop taste in the back of the throat, um, but it's crisp. It's It's got enough hop bitterness, so I'm really happy with this. So today I'm gonna pull the lime zest out of the keg and then finish carbonating it.